Welcome to one of the most iconic race circuits on the Formula One calendar. It's tight, it's tricky, and there's absolutely no room for error. We're getting ready for lights out here in Monte Carlo. The astonishing Circuit de Monaco is, for all intents and purposes, virtually unchanged since its inaugural race back in 1929. The faster cars of today, though, ensure the 19 corners past the casino and along the seafront remain as thrilling as ever. A 2.1 mile lap here takes us around an entire country, yet never more than inches from the race ending barriers. I won't be commentating alone today, of course. Nope, I have the honour to share this commentary box with none other than Anthony Davidson. And you and I were talking earlier today about how tight that midfield battle is compared to the last couple of years. Why do you think that is? Well, I suppose the main reason is simply stability in the regulations. Look at what we had towards the end of the V8 era. In 2012, we had seven winners in seven races. We talk about the dominance of Red Bull at that time, but their advantage was rarely more than two or three tenths of a second. And we've had this current formula now for a couple of years, and that serves to solve any teething troubles with reliability. And let's not forget that these cars are more technical than ever before, so it was always going to take a bit of time for those gaps to come down. OK, it's a short run to saint devant and you know what Monaco's like, so try to defend this lead. With that then, let's run through the grid order. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Nico Rosberg completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have...